Hey guys, I'm going to show you my uh, Raspberry Pi 2 setup. Um, I have the Raspberry Pi 2 connected to my TV's USB and HDMI ports and then over the Ethernet. I have a uh, Xbox 360 controller connected to the Raspberry Pi and a keyboard for just in case. So, when I turn on the Pi, or the TV, it will turn on the Pi, and uh, if it works properly, it should boot up into Emulation Station. Um, now, my setup is uh, Emulation Station running through, uh, obviously, RetroPie. And then I have uh, OpenLX so that I can run XBMC as well. And essentially, if I reboot the system, every, sing every, every time I reboot, it's going to uh, boot up the opposite operating system that was already open. So, um, for some reason, it's asking me to actually select the operating system. That's a little annoying. But, uh, as you can see here, it's just loading up Emulation Station. And uh, one of the cool things that I've done is I actually um, put a script into Emulation Station, which will launch um, the streaming application for Raspberry Pi that lets me stream from my gaming rig in the other room. So we'll go ahead and launch that application. And if it likes me, it'll work properly. But uh, nothing's ever perfect, of course. And there we go. So um, the same controller that is connected directly to the Raspberry Pi can now browse my Steam library and run games. So just like that, I'm playing uh, Binding of Isaac. Keep playing. Okay, so, there you go, and uh, I can essentially play any of my Steam games just fine, and then when I exit, I just hit stop streaming. And it should go straight back to Emulation Station. Where I can play all the emulators on here. Now, if I want to uh, go back to OpenELEC for XBMC or Cody, I guess as it's called now, I just uh, hit the start button, go down to quit, and hit restart system. A script will automatically select the other operating system in the bootloader and uh, it will open up directly to XBMC. Sorry, Cody. I've been using it for years, and when they changed the name, it kind of screwed with me. And there we are. So, um, there you have it. Uh, it's my video on the Raspberry Pi 2 running as a media center, a uh, retro Pi emulation station, I guess you could call it, and a Steam streaming client as well. 
so you can stream from your gaming PC. Uh, if you're interested in the tutorial, hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos because I got some awesome stuff in mind.